Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm losing my memory. Not my memory, my computer memory. So I'm racing to the Apple store to pick up a new external hard drive before it shuts. I'm headed to the Apple Store in Covent Garden. Now, I mainly use a PC, but for video production and music production, I use an Apple. And it's incredibly, it's incredibly heavy on memory, especially video. So I'm consuming, I'm consuming an external hard drive, so I'm gonna buy an absolutely massive one. Um, I think the biggest portable one you can get, which I use, the Lacey Ruggies, are two terabytes. But they do a mains powered one, again Lacey, which is four terabytes. So I'm gonna get one of those and transfer all of my portable, uh, portable files onto the mains operated one, and then clear the mobile ones so I can use them when I travel. Look at this car, have you ever seen a Lamborghini with a roof rack before? Not only a roof rack, but two bikes, a bike rack. Shut. Hi there. Uh, Lacey hard drives. Lazy hard drives are going to be at the very end to the right. You will see a whole section of them. Okay. I will upload an unboxing, a review video of this hard drive when I've used it for a little while. Vlogmas isn't the time, but I like to upload videos about the equipment I use to produce my own videos because I think above all else, it's helpful for other vloggers. I'll probably upload it after Vlogmas or maybe during Vlogmas, I'm not sure yet if I'll have the time, but when I do, I'll explain the reasons why I bought the model I did and importantly, why I bought it from Apple as well because there's many to choose from and many places to buy them from. Okay, success. Managed to get a new hard drive before they shut. And now, while we're here, I want to take a look at Covent Garden's Christmas decorations. So yeah, for me, much of tonight is going to be pretty dull. It's going to be about hard drives and computer storage. As I said earlier, vlogging takes 
well, daily vlogging like this, I underestimated how much footage I would shoot and quite how much storage that requires. Well, I knew it required quite a lot of storage, but I didn't realize how long each of these vlogs was gonna be. So tonight's a bit of housekeeping really for me, but that's why I've come to the Covent Garden Apple Store. I normally go to the bigger one on Regent Street, but I thought I'd come to the Covent Garden one because then we can take a look at the Christmas deck, this year's Christmas decorations that are here, and then we can have a Vlogmas vlog, a festive vlog, not a hard drive tech review vlog. I only just made it to the Apple store before the shop shut this evening, so the market stalls here are closed, all the bars and restaurants are open and some of the stores are too. But it's quite interesting to see it with the market stalls folded up, get quite a clear view of the Christmas decorations. This year's Christmas decorations at Covent Garden have the theme of Meet Me Under the Mistletoe. They were created by celebrated production designer Michael Howes, who has in the past created fashion shows for Alexander McQueen's, collaborated with Louis Vuitton and Christian Dior. Um, Covent Garden say this is his new design for Covent Garden is their most ambitious Christmas scheme yet and they have illuminated the market building with over 40 magnificent mistletoe chandeliers each ranging, each ranging from 2.5 to 3.5 meters in size and adorned with almost 700 glistening berries and with over 320 meters of garlands which unite the chandeliers and around 100,000 P-lights suspended within the historic market building. And outside on the piazza, there is the massive Christmas tree and the illuminated reindeer. Lego has also revealed uh, its annual Christmas build, which they've done. I think this is their fifth year of building something spectacular out of Lego here in um, Covent Garden. Their first one was a 30 meter Lego Christmas tree and then they've done a giant advent calendar, a walk through the snow globe um, featuring a London scene. Last year's was a sleigh and reindeer and this year it's the Santa Express made with half a million Lego bricks. It features three carriages, the engine, driver's cabin, a carriage full of presents and the final carriage delivering the Christmas tree and a Christmas elf. It's an interesting time of the evening to be wandering about here in London actually because we're sort of in the transition. The shops are winding down and the bars and restaurants are gearing up and there's a lot of Christmas parties going on so yeah the streets look a lot emptier than they normally would be. The shoppers and the day trippers are off home and the party's getting started. And on that note, I haven't eaten yet, so I'm going to get something quick to eat and then continue having a look around. Welcome to Five Guys. It's a picture? Video. Video. Ah, five I'm in Five Guys getting a burger and fries. I left that clip in for a reason actually. There's a hot competition here in London, certainly in Covent Garden, between two huge American chains of burger restaurants, Five Guys and Shake Shack. Interesting, when I've been to Shake Shack in the past, quite a while ago actually, um, I never made it into the restaurant. I was filming myself in the queue vlogging, I got barked at, told what I was doing was illegal and they called the police if I continued and pretty much thrown out. In Five Guys, the guy comes up, puts his arm around me and smiles for the camera. You couldn't get more opposing attitudes. <laughs> Just picked up a quick burger and fries from Five Guys. I know you're going to see it, so let me show you what I've got quickly. Okay, for those of you that haven't been in Five Guys, you pick your burger. I've got a normal hamburger, you can have a cheeseburger, a bacon burger, I think there are a few others. And then you have a choice of 15 different toppings. They're all included in the price, you can have none or all 15 if you want. And then they make it to order. It doesn't take, doesn't take all that long actually, they're pretty, they're pretty efficient. I've just gone for, um, 
have I gone for? Uh, hamburger, tomatoes, onions, mustard, and ketchup. Pretty simple. When it comes to American burgers, I have eaten in Shake Shack a number of times, both in New York and in London, when I wasn't vlogging and not getting thrown out. Um, for me, I'm not that fussy about my burgers. I like them all. They do both. Both Five Guys and Shake Shack make great burgers. There's no way to do this without making a complete mess. That's a good burger. The chips are great too. Right, I'm going to tuck into this. Obviously Shake Shack haven't endeared themselves to me for slinging me out of the line before I even set foot in the restaurant for filming myself. But I would say they make, they make a decent burger. It's as good as Five Guys. But even burger aficionados can't pick a winner between the two. So for me, I definitely think Five Guys make better fries, better chips. So for me, I don't see the point in queuing up at Shake Shack. It's like the Emperor's New Clothes. It is only a burger. They're no better than anyone else's. No worse than anyone else's. But in my experience, the staff, the experience was better, friendlier and faster at Five Guys. There's the entrance to a well-known bar here called Punch and Judy's. It's, there are a few bars here, but this one's got the biggest balcony. There are a few bars and restaurants with balconies. This one has the largest one. It overlooks perfectly the courtyard and the church. And during the day and into the early evenings, you'll often get performers, street performers, jugglers, comedians, singers, all sorts, standing in front of the church performing for the crowd on the balcony at Punch and Judy's. Obviously they perform for the passers-by as well. They're set, I guess they're busking. But I think the biggest and the loudest heckles come from up on that balcony, up on the bar where everyone's got a bit of Dutch courage. And uh, yeah, here we are. So yeah, if you ever want to know if you've got talent, forget the TV talent shows. Just rock up here and start performing. They'll soon let you know. Unfortunately, I can't sing and I can't dance, so I've got nothing to offer. I can vlog. I've always wondered what it would be like to perform here outside St Paul's Church in front of the crowd at Punch and Judy's Bar, but I guess I'll never know. Um, thanks for watching tonight's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles.